everyone. Thank you for dropping by today. We are going to be making this over the top, amazing, fun fold gift card holder. Here's the gift card. Look, right in here. Hi Stampers, this is Dawn and today we are going to be making this adorable gift card holder and it's a trifold so it opens up like this. You can also add another layer there if you wanted to do that and then you open it again and it's got the little pocket down here on the bottom that holds a gift card. Isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh. So I got this idea from my downline Roberta. Let me show you her card. So this is the card that Roberta sent me last year. Isn't it beautiful? All those snowflakes. Then you open it and then you open it again and there's her gift card down there. So cute. All right, so let me show you the back side of the card. So you're probably wondering where you're signing it, right? So I added another piece of basic white to the back so they can sign it. But then also you could have your little note there. You can sign it there and the space here if you want to write a note. So here, here, and then a larger space is on the back side. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's start with the pieces. This is the Mango Melody. This is a quarter sheet. So this is cut at four and a quarter by five and a half. Then I'm using the Brights Designer Paper Collection. This is the Mango Melody color. And you might notice the difference between the first version I made. I made with the polka dots. This is one of the other designs, like the wood grain. Hopefully that's showing up. But this piece is cut at four by five and a quarter. And then this piece of Daffodil Delight, this is the trifold gift card holder part of the card. This piece is cut at four and a quarter by nine and three fourths. And we're going to score this piece together. Then you're going to need two pieces of basic white. These are both cut at three by four. And then another piece of basic white for the back side of the card if you want to add another piece for signing. This piece is cut at four by five and a quarter. And then another piece of Daffodil Delight. This piece is cut at two by four for the gift card. And then I went ahead and already die cut out the circles. This is the scallop circle, which is approximately two and seven eighths in the scallop size. And then the straight edge is about two and a half. Okay. And then I went ahead and cut out and colored and stamped and all of the cute little chickens. And these are from, I think these are probably my most favorite stamp sets right now. But this is the Hey Birthday Chick. This is in the current mini catalog until June 30th. And then this one is Hey Chick. which This was a stamp set that was offered for celebration back in 2017. But both of these stamp sets have dies, which look like this. This chick one goes with the Hey Chick. And so then this Hey Birthday Chick has birthday chick dies that coordinate with that one. So now you can buy all these items separately or in a bundle to save 10%. So this one goes with this one, save 10%. Then the hate chick and the chick dies go together and you can save 10% when you purchase those together. So I used a whole bunch of images from both stamp sets and then I used the dies to coordinate, all right? I also have the link down below in the description box if you want to check out the stamp set and the dies and then also the bundle numbers. These items are not on there. I just wrote them on there. So if you want to take a quick snapshot of that, those are the item numbers. And I'll also have them on the screen too. Okay. And then I also cut another piece, which is the polka dotted one. This piece is cut at one inch by four. And this is going to be for the front part of the trifold. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our trimmer. All right, so we're going to score, and this is the nine and three quarter by four and a quarter inch piece of the daffodil. And the first score line we're going to make is three and a quarter, and then six and a half, and that's your score lines. Okay, so you're just going to burnish your score lines. Okay, so then that's your gift card holder right there. Okay, so now let's go ahead and build our card. So then we'll just start adding the layers, all right? So let me grab my stamp and seal. Then this is gonna go on the front of our little gift card holder right here, just like that. And then put our scallop over on this side here. So let's go ahead and decorate that. We're going to pop the circles up on dimensionals. 
this right over here to the left hand side and I'm going to grab my other circle I'm going to put this on with the adhesive good okay so then I went ahead and stamped and cut the greetings so let me show you those so here's one that says happy birthday the greetings are all in the stamp sets that we're using today so happy birthday and then this one says let's celebrate and then I have the U right here so what I did is I like this one I stamped it on the basic white and then I separated them by cutting the the cardstock and then I just layered it onto the mango melody and then the inside part I stamped the you're still a spring chicken and that's normally one greeting like that but so then I cut it like the let's celebrate you I just cut it in half and made it into two all right so you'll notice that these right here the front are popped up on the mini dimensionals then these two greetings for the inside are using the stamp and seal and that's because you don't want this gift card holder to be too bulky because then it will be like really hard to close and probably cost extra for postage so we're just going to decorate the front with the let's celebrate you first and then we're going to add our chicken before we add our greeting here so let's grab that so here's my cute little chicken already stamped and cut it out and then I also colored it so we're just going to put him right over here towards the left and then I'll have room to put my little greetings here so this one says let's I'll put that right over here let's celebrate and then you isn't it cute and then I have some daffodil ruched ribbon I went ahead and tied a bow so let me grab my scissors cut the tails off a little bit we're gonna glue this bow right onto the front right there when we're done putting the card together okay so then this chicken right here the three by four piece is gonna go in the center and that one is gonna get the happy birthday so we're gonna go ahead and attach that and we're just gonna go ahead and put this right over top of the bird with the cupcake <laughs> so cute and we're gonna put this on the inside that right there and then this piece right down here we're going to add our other piece of daffodil remember this piece is cut at two by four and we're going to grab our one and a half inch circle punch and we're going to punch maybe about a half of the circle right about there I guess looks good punching it between the four inch right in the middle and then we're going to use our liquid glue let me grab that just going to put liquid glue you could also use tear and tape but you just want to be extra careful because this is such a little space you want to allow enough room for your gift card to slide in there okay so we're just going to put this right down here on this bottom edge right there I'm just going to hold that just to make sure it secures down we're going to take our gift card and slide that into the pocket just like that now we're going to decorate that section so let me get my you're still a spring chicken which is right here and we're going to add the cute little chickens the dancing chickens every time i look at these chickens they remind me of the chicken dance <laughs> but we're going to add these with the liquid glue as well so i'm going to put my chickens on one on each of the sides and then the greeting is going to go right in the middle so we're just going to have those cute little chickens like they're dancing then we're going to take our your still a spring chicken so we're going to put this one on first that's <laughs> so cute and then you flip it up and then this is where we're going to stamp this piece here so let me grab my memento ink i'm going to grab our little crazy haired chick i'm going to stamp him over here on the left hand side and we're going to color this one together so i'll show you what i did okay and then i went ahead and cut out two more of the chickens the dancing chickens and then this is where we're going to stamp our greeting for our sign too so let me grab the early espresso stamp the saying that says have a happy day 
Make sure that's stamping right. Nope, it's upside down. All right, so we're gonna stamp this right onto our sign. And then we're also going to go ahead and sponge this a little bit. These are our Stampin' Sponges and I just put a piece of cardstock on there to hold it on the end. So my fingers don't get too inky. Okay, so that's all set to add to the center of the card over here on this layer. All right, so now let me show you how I'm gonna color this chicken. So we're gonna grab our Mango Melody and our Pumpkin Pie. Okay, so I took the Mango Melody Dark. Let me make sure this is the dark, yep. And what I did is I went ahead and I just kind of, here, let me zoom in a little bit. So I just took the Mango Melody Dark and I just kind of colored over the, the wing tails and the moppy hair. And then I took the pumpkin pie and I did the same thing, but I just did the very center like he's got roots or she's got roots, I should say. And then I'm going to take the, the bullet tip. I'm going to color in the beak and the feet. Okay. Then I'm going to go back to the mango melody and I'm going to outline the chicken. Then we're going to take the light mango melody. We're going to color all of it in now. Isn't he cute? So I find that using this liquid glue, I could use that a little bit better for the chickens than I could for the greetings that I was putting inside the card right here and right here. Put these right here. Just press them down. Then we're gonna take our sign. I'm just gonna put adhesive on the bottom and then along the top here. And we're gonna tuck this underneath one of the chicken's wings there, the baby chicks. <laughs> Isn't he cute? <laughs> so cute. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put this onto the base of the, the gift card holder. So let me go ahead and flip this over. Okay, then this piece is gonna go onto this section right behind the gift card. I think that's why I love both of these chicken sets because you can do so much with them. These would be really cute for an Easter card too, which I think I'm making an Easter card for the glitter pit. So if you want to check that one out, that link will be listed down below. All right, so now let's go ahead and put this onto our base. Okay, let's grab our quarter sheet here. We're going to put that right in the center. Just like that. Oh, it's so cute. So it flips up up again and then you got your little gift card holder so you can sign it here or here and then we're going to add our little extra piece of the basic white to the back over here but first let's go ahead and put our bow on let me grab some glue dots put a glue dot right over here there gonna grab our bow let's put our bow on there isn't it cute so let's go ahead and put our basic white layer on the back which is right here. I've already stamped it with the extra chicken. So we're gonna put this right on the back. So cute! I absolutely love it. So there's the front. You open it, have a happy day, and then it says happy birthday, you're still a spring chicken, and then you got your gift card right in there. So adorable. So now let me show you what I did here for the, the grounding of the, the chicks. So I took my Crumb Cake Light Stampin' Blends marker and I took the brush tip. And on my chick here, so this is the front, right? So I'm going to open it up. And this piece right here, I'm just going to scribble on the ground. I'm going to come over to this side over here and do the same thing with these two baby chicks. Just to ground them a little bit. And then do the same thing with the one on the inside here. 
just like that. Okay, so that's how I did that to add the grounding to the, the chicks. You could do this one too, but I find that it's a little bit harder. Let me just see if I can do that really quick. Yeah, you can do it. Just add it right underneath. Since it's popped up on dimensionals, you can add a little bit of a ground there. Okay, so let me bring in the other one. Okay, so here's the other one I made with the polka dot background. You can see the difference here. They're both really cute. Okay, so that's how you make that adorable trifold gift card holder. And then I'll have all the items listed down below. Then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and then hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Okay, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye.